Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, Shinrin Yoku, and Yurt Life, bringing you a grand solar minimum update. Saturday, September 30th, 7.45 p.m. Mountain Time, 2023. A 4.7 magnitude quake shakes parts of Northern California. While the GFS model is showing heavy snow in Canada and the Northern States. Keep calm. It's boom time. Hail slams Barnesville late in the storm season. This is a rare kind of storm this late in the year. On Friday, September 29th, the Barnesville area woke up to large hail pounding the town. Take a look. A man in a bucket is seen hovering above an alley Florida morning, Friday morning, making repairs after the storm did a number to power lines. Pretty good looking hail there. And we do have two tropical disturbances. We've got Tropical Storm Philippe with maximum sustained winds at 50 miles per hour. Tropical Storm Rena with maximum sustained winds at 45 miles per hour. And both of these systems are no threat to the U.S. They're going to hook around just to the east of Bermuda and head towards the Azores or potentially Europe as a major hurricane Philippe will enter the central Atlantic. And Rena is not looking so strong. We'll enter the central Atlantic as a tropical depression. Now it's raining outside now. And there's also heavy rain in Florida. Dry, windy conditions in the central Rockies. Well, it's raining. Increased thunderstorm activity and locally heavy rainfall may produce flooding in Florida. Locally heavy rain is also possible near the upper Great Lakes, Great Basin, and New Mexico into West Texas. Heavy snow is expected in the central and southern Sierra Nevadas, and a dry and windy air mass will bring critical fire weather conditions to parts of the eastern Great Basin and the central Rockies. Click on your county for more information. Let's take a look at that system. There's snow falling here up in Montana and in, uh, looks like Alberta. And here are the storm systems that will develop at the beginning of the week here, Monday into Tuesday. There will be a line of storms that moves through the country. But the snow, let's track the snow. There will be some snow in the high elevations in the next 24 hours in Utah, Montana, Nevada, Idaho, the Sierras, and even down south here in the Southern Mountains. So the snow forecast is set to continue to increase, especially after the first week of October. So these, are, these models are far out, but showing heavy snow for the Northeast and, the nor and Canada. 4.7 magnitude shakes parts of Northern California. An earthquake with a preliminary magnitude of 4.9 downgraded to 4.7 shook parts of Northern California on Saturday morning. The quake hit 1.86 miles southwest of Ferndale at 8.26 a.m. That's southwest of Eureka in Humboldt County. Pretty typical type of quake, normal activity for this region. Now here is that quake in question in Ferndale after quake of 4.2. So we've got two quakes there, a 4.7 followed by a 4.2 offshore. Pretty normal activity for the region. Worldwide, uh, no other quakes of note, particularly this one interesting quake here, 4.0 in northern Spain. That's insane. Worldwide Volcano News Update. We've got Fuego, Suanosima to 7,000, Mayon puffing today, as well as Sabancaya to 24,000, Nevado de Ruiz, Sangay likely, Puffing, Reventador to 14,000. Suanosima here to 7,000. Popo to 20,000. Ducono, 7,000. Pretty normal activity worldwide. The good news is that the seismic swarm at Campi, Felegri, has come, is quieting down. Has not come to an end, but is quieting down considerably. Space weather news outlook. Low-level sea flares all day. Nothing spectacular. Very tiny sunspots on the disk. No worries. Three-day geomagnetic forecast is all quiet across the sun. KP currently at two. Who knew? Now you do. Oh my, we have an ad. Now, on to some space news. NASA's Perseverance rover uh, caught an amazing capture of a dust devil swirling across the Martian surface where there's supposed to be no atmosphere and no ability for, well, dust devils to exist. And yet they do. As you can see there in the circle, the dust devil in question. Now, it is hypothesized that these are potentially 
and that is now out of the frame there. We can get this back in the frame here. Okay, let's take it back here. Yeah, this hypothesized that this is some sort of electrical activity on the surface, some type of an electrical storm that is causing these dust devils to form and move across the surface. Quite significant here and an amazing capture from the Mars Perseverance rover. All the links will be below to everything we talk about, so please check them out. There's that dust devil in question moving across the surface of Mars. It's pretty amazing as it gets here over to the right, making quite a nice, look at that exterior. Anyway, beautiful footage there coming from the Perseverance rover. Now, a new paper coming out claims that dinosaurs may not have been wiped out by a world-ending meteor. Lee and I will talk about uh, why that's ridiculous in our upcoming podcast in just a few minutes after the show. And the new model says that a megavolcano, the Deccan Traps, may have caused their extinction, but that conclusion is filled with human bias. And here it is, Cosmology in Crisis, Redshift Blunder, and the universe is now 26.7 billion years old. Holy macaroni. Where is the money coming from? And where is it going? Who knows? And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video as we are shadow banned and we need your help to grow. Become a Patreon, support the work we do, and tune in over at Magnetic Reversal News for one hour of power of the most enlightening scientific discussion you may have ever heard. And that is a boom. Be safe. We love you. We'll see you soon. Nee, nee, nee.